Hello guys and welcome back to another baby video. Today I'm going to be doing a what is in my hospital bag video. I did one of these with Riv um, and I've watched about 5,000 of them with Riv. I've also watched a lot this time because the age gap between River and this baby is four and a half years. So it's been a while since my last hospital bag. Um, I kind of do remember things that I used and I didn't but not like in any massive detail. I've kind of just... Um, I feel a bit more confident knowing the things that I will need this time, if that makes sense. Whereas before you obviously kind of, you know what to expect, but you haven't been through it. So um, yeah, I definitely feel a lot more relaxed in packing my hospital bag. Although not more relaxed in filming this video, because I have to say I have already filmed this before, um, but I was wearing a new mascara and realized after I'd filmed it that I had mascara literally under my eyes and this, the monitor screen on this camera is tiny so I couldn't see it. And literally, I had like massive panda eyes. I was like, really? Uh, at this point in pregnancy, I have two weeks to go. So I am like enormous. And I'm like up and down the stairs. I took all the bags downstairs again because they were by the door ready to roll just in case I go to labour early as they recommend you to do. Have your bag ready. And then I had to lug them all the way back upstairs. Anyway, we're here now. I'm actually taking three bags to hospital this time. Um, I am having a scheduled section again. I had a scheduled section with Riv. Um, this time around, this baby, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know some of this already because I've kind of discussed it in stories a couple of times. This baby is measuring quite large. Obviously, like, they can't tell you exactly. Like, there's always, like, a bit of room for error in terms of um, scanning and kind of measuring babies from scans. But he's currently measuring on the 94th percentile, which will make him... I think like mid nine pounds to 10 pounds. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm having a scheduled section for this one as well. Cause if you have a heavy baby and have previously had a section, they kind of give you that option to choose. Um, and I had a great experience having a section with Riv. It was scheduled, so it was very, very calm. It wasn't an emergency. Um, and it was a really positive experience. So I have no qualms doing that again. So I've got three bags. One of them is for baby. And it's my baby changing bag. This is my Gem and B. I think it's called the Jemima changing bag. They do still do these. This is the bag I had from, from having Riv. So it's like five years old, basically. Um, it's really, really overstuffed. It normally looks nicer than this, but I've stuffed it full of stuff for the baby. Um, I love this bag. I use it loads with Riv. It's got a million pockets in it. Um, and it's just really, really good quality. They are quite expensive because they're leather, but they last. So I'll go through this bag first. Um, but I do also have a carry-on suitcase, like a wheelie suitcase. I can't pick that up and show you because <laughs> I might go into labour. Um, no, I probably won't, but it's just like a standard like cabin bag. I've got It's my away one. Um, and that's got all of my stuff as well as some stuff for Mike and like a whole pack of nappies, which I don't think we'll need, but I'm just taking them anyway. Um, and then I'm also taking my... Stella McCartney backpack. This is currently pretty much empty because this is essentially going to be like last minute. This is like the contents of my handbag um, type situation. So things like my phone, my wallet, um, headphones, chargers, etc. that you kind of throw in last minute um, because you're li like maternity notes because you're literally using them up until the last minute. This is coming as well. So for the baby, we have, so let's start with the obvious, nappies and wipes. Um, I have a few nappies in this bag, but I also, like I said, I have a pack in my bag. This is weird, because I swear when we had Riv, we're at the same hospital and they did provide nappies. They're so tiny, look at the newborn nappies. Um, these ones, although what I was saying was, they did tell us to bring them on the list, so it's on the like checklist of what to bring into hospital. Even though they definitely provided them last time, maybe they've changed, I don't know, so we're just taking them anyway. Um, the ones we've gone for this time are by Pura, um, which is actually a brand that they didn't make nappies when I had Riv, I don't think. With Riv, we changed from, we used Pampers Pure, we used Kit and Kin for a while, and we kind of changed around a bit based on what fitted her on, like, what size she was, because certain points in her time, um, we used Natty at the beginning and then they began leaking and then we used Pampers Pure and we really liked those. And then when she got bigger, we moved to Kit and Kin because they were a bit more um, sustainable in terms of um, 
biodegradable um, and that's what this brand are as well so Pura is a brand that I started using late on in when Riv was probably like two so she was still wearing nappies but I wasn't getting through like a crazy amount of wipes but basically I didn't realize when I first had Riv and it kind of things have changed quite a lot from a sustainability point of view and also just a general like ingredients point of view um, we were using water wipes but they actually still contain plastic and I didn't realize when we had Riv like that baby wipes do have plastic and are really, really bad for the environment. These ones are plastic free, so they're biodegradable um, and they're still like 99% water, no perfume, no alcohol, plastic free, blah, blah, blah. Um, but these ones are the ones we ended up using with Riv. I'm also taking, I've got like a little um, pouch of kind of product, um, Multimam nipple compressors, really sexy products. I use these with Riv for the first few weeks of breastfeeding and they are so excellent. These are something that I always buy for my kind of pregnant friends or like baby shower gifts as well because they're so good. They're expensive, they're at a pound each, but for those first few weeks when your nipples are like really, really sore, they're amazing. Put them on after breastfeeding, they're just really cooling. I'm actually gonna put these in the fridge when I get home because I bet they're even better when they've been in the fridge. Um, so I'm taking a few of those. Um, and then I also have um, nipple balm, which is an essential from the start, but what's last time anyway. Um, this is the Valeda one, which I love this brand for um, baby care. We used it all the way through with Riv for things like baby wash and um, nappy cream. Although I do have a nappy cream as well, again, the Valeda one, nappy change cream, the calendula one. This we used with Riv. Um, however, I have to say, and this is expensive, I think a lot of people will be like, oh, I'm just going to use Sudocrem because it's cheaper or Bepanthin or whatever. Um, we actually probably went through two tubes of this in Riv's whole nappy wearing career because, <laughs> career, A, you need like the tiniest, tiniest amount, but B, we didn't actually use nappy cream that much unless you know, she'd have a particularly bad nappy that we thought, oh, your bum's going to get a bit sore, let's um, like use nappy cream or she was kind of starting to get sore we never used it I just saw it as a kind of another extra step that unless she had nappy rash or a problem then I didn't need to use it and she didn't have very sensitive skin so actually we really didn't use it that often and then I've got some um, Dettol on the go wipes which you know sign of the times with Covid I'm obviously not gonna wipe the baby with these but if there's anything that needs wiping anywhere I've got myself covered um, Dettol wipes. I do also have some um, breast pads. Again, I don't think I'll need these. With Rib, my milk didn't come in until like day four. Um, put my phone on silent, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Um, my milk didn't come in until day four with Rib, so we didn't need these. And it was, I think I, I first really needed them on like day six and we went out to Oh, was it day six or day ten? Because it was my nephew's birthday party. It's on the 10th of January. And I hadn't been wearing these because I didn't hadn't needed them and then yeah basically my nipples started leaking and I was like oh <laughs> run to the car change my top quick um yeah so I won't need those in hospital but they're just in there just in case then we've got some baby hats <laughs> so cute um this one is these are both from Riv actually um one of them is just like a mother care plain white one and the other one is a slightly thicker I'm not sure how much will keep the hats on the baby. They usually put them on right when they're born. And they usually wear them for the first day or so. But I think Riff was a December baby, so obviously every time she went outside, she was wearing a hat. Sorry, I'm literally like, there's no space left in my chest anymore. So I'm so out of breath, <laughs> even talking, because I've got a big bag on my lap as well. I'm like sat upright. Riv was a December baby, so every time she went outdoors, she was wearing a hat, whereas this little man is going to be mid-July, so I don't know how much he's going to wear hats beyond being born. And then, onto the baby grows, which again, like I said, because he is measuring quite large and in charge, I've got a range of sizes in the baby grows, from first size, which, oh my god, I have to show you this baby grow because it's the cutest thing ever, this is from Next. I actually am so sad because now I know, I bought this a while ago before it was flagged that he was going to be quite large and it arrived and I did think, I don't think River was ever that small. <laughs> and then I looked at the size guide and it says up to £7.9 or something like that. Riv was born at 
eight pounds seven like i said there's a chance this one is going to be like nine and a half ten um it might be less they might be wrong they were wrong with Riv. they told me Riv was going to be seven and a half and she was eight and a half so they're wrong the other way <laughs> let's hope they're not wrong that way this time and we have an 11 pound baby um no so yeah i'm hoping this will fit him like even if it's just on his first day um it's very cute from next i will link this because the quality is just gorgeous i think it's about 15 pounds from next but it looks like a super and it feels like a super expensive one um but yeah that's the smallest one we've got we've got a couple of little tiny like newborn sizes like this one this one's a mamas and papas zip one in newborn size it depends on the brand as well like some newborn is quite big and riv was in a lot of newborn to start off with she was out of it quite quickly because she was quite a big baby but stuff like um next is normally really big that's why i was surprised like normally i wouldn't buy first size knowing how big riv has been but next normally come up really big and and for some reason that one's tiny this is the next up to one month so that's like their more kind of newborn -y size rather than um very very first i guess yeah it's weird they just label everything differently don't they that one's very cute and then i've got a couple of um uh naught to three as well I've got another one from next i think that's up to one and then this one is his kind of going home outfit hopefully if it fits him um this is from patachu which i just love this was one of the first things i bought when i found out i was having a boy we haven't actually bought that many clothes for him um basically these baby clothes are pretty much it there's a few other outfits as well but um a lot of river stuff was unisex when she was little we knew she was going to be a girl i just really liked all the kind of white plain stuff and until she started wanting to really really dress super girly which she does now and i love she's like the girliest girl she just wants dresses and pink and everything all the time i kind of let her pick that and just put her in like very neutral things to start off with um so when we found out we we're having a boy we really didn't need much we also have this little outfit which has got the hat folded in because it matches and i thought if mike's gonna have to be finding stuff i'm gonna make it easy for him um this is jojo mama baby this is the newborn size and this looks way bigger than the others right weird um very cute multi rainbow little outfit so baby grows that's what we're taking we're taking six for a two night stay but i also do have another little bag that's going to be in our car in the car park nearby because like i said we don't know how like what size he's going to be in so well not that anybody does right before they have a baby so we did this with Rove as well i basically packed like another six baby grows in like a selection of sizes in the bag in the car we didn't need them with Riv, but they're there i've also got six little short sleeve vests which again with Riv she had these under her baby grows but I don't think in July depending how hot it is in hospital he might not need to layer up he might just be in these a lot of my friends who've had babies um this summer so far ha they have been like living in vests basically because it's been like warm the last month or so oh we have this swaddle blanket which I love so much so this is a muslin swaddle from a brand called for I think it's for Ivor I thought when I first got it, it might be four of what, four of our, four of a, four, I don't know. It's basically four either, but in one word. Four of a, four of, I don't know, anyway. Um, I'm sure they might tell me after this. They make the most beautiful, beautiful baby kind of linens and children's bed linen, um, baby muslins, baby swaddle blankets like this. And this is the under the sea one. So on one side, it's got this gorgeous design, the daytime side, and then it has the nighttime side too. River is obsessed with this. We put it out on the floor and we got it and we were just like looking at all the different creatures and everything going on in the scenes. They're just very, very cool. I actually think for toddlers even better, like toddler bed sheets, just absolutely magical. And then I've also got another swaddle blanket. This one is enormous, it's from a brand here we go bibs bibs denmark it's like extra large swaddle blanket which to be honest i think we'll probably use it's a lot softer and a lot thinner so we might use it for swaddling we might just use it as a blanket when he's going home um folded up we'll just see i i found with riv it was just handy to have a few different sizes 
um, and styles of like blankets and see and kind of you get obviously not in hospital you don't get an idea of like what your baby likes but after a few weeks of them being around you kind of get into the swing of like what kind of thing you want to use and how they like being wrapped up and if they like a sleeping bag or a swaddle or whatever but um for the first few days with Riv we did swaddle her and then when we got home we used sleeping bags so I'm taking a couple of swaddle blankets but no sleeping bags what else have we got muslin squares I feel like I'm the only person in the world that's like you actually don't need that many of these but maybe it's because with River she wasn't a very sicky baby um because a lot of people get through these like nothing else I'm taking three to hospital we generally use like one a day with Riv but like I said she wasn't a sicky baby maybe this one will be so who knows I'm taking three of those these again are ones that I just had with Riv this top one is from Oh, what's the brand called? This is testing me. Etaloves.com. <laughs> I couldn't remember that from five years ago. But she does like all of these like really nice monochrome um, patterns that are really like visual for the babies as well. So they're really good if you want to like get one out and lie the baby on it during tummy time. They're like, wow. I remember Riv just absolutely loving it. Um, again, obviously not for hospital when they're that small, but um, they're nice to have. And then I think the others are just maybe even Primark ones from five years ago with Riv, just a few of those. And then I think that's pretty much it for the baby. And then in our big bag, which like I said, I don't think it's a good idea to kind of pick it up and try and show you the actual bag. But essentially one side is for me and then the other side is for like Mike and baby extras. So we have, Mike's just got basically a change of clothes. I think he's gonna take some flip flop just because it's summer and also like walking around and whatnot around the hospital sometimes like like you just don't want to be in like outdoor shoes a lot of the time um going back and through the bathroom things like that um because i think it's still quite restricted in the in our hospital it's fairly restricted in terms of him leaving and coming back so he's got like a change of clothes and and whatnot just in case he can't leave at a certain time or whatever i've got a whole pack of maternity pads which again, we didn't need these with Riv, they provided them, but they were on the list of like things to bring, which I think they were last time. I don't think they'll have changed much. I think they'll still provide the same things, but just in case they don't, um, I've got those and then the rest of the pack of nappies. So these, are, this is just the same pack that I took out those four from. Um, so how many nappies are we taking? Like 22, it's a pack of 22, it's tiny. <laughs> And then on my side, I've got a random selection of things. Firstly, a dressing gown. I'm taking a very thin cotton dressing gown. Everyone always says take a dressing gown into hospital with you. I don't think I used one last time. I definitely took one and I'm not sure I used it. Um, I was just kind of walking around in my gown or my um, shirt dress up my night shirts which I'm taking I'm gonna take three of these at the moment I've only packed two because these two don't fit me anymore these fitted me up until about seven and a half months so I think they'll be okay like day two once my bump's gone down a little bit but you still basically have a bump after you have a baby and then I might take one maybe even two more that fit me now but at the moment I've only got like two that fit me so I'm not gonna pack them yet because otherwise I don't have anything to sleep in at night so those will be going in kind of last minute, but those are packed, ready to go just in case. And then I also have um, a kind of going home outfit, which was actually the same outfit that I packed to go home with with Riv. It's a jersey three piece, like maternity and feeding set. So it's essentially like um, a waterfall cardigan, which I wore those so much with feeding with Riv because it was winter and it was just really, really easy. And you could kind of like snuggle up and you have like a little blanket, it was nice. I don't know how much I'll use them this time because it's summer. Um, but it also comes with the tank top, which you might not be able to see because it's black, but it's basically got the like feeding crisscross front thing so you can get your boobs out easy. Um, and then the trousers, which are kind of just like wide leg. They're almost like joggers. I actually cut these off because they were really, really long when I got them. This set was from On Vida Fraise which is a French maternity brand. And I think they probably still make this set because there's a lot of, they do a lot of like the maternity jersey basics. Then I've got a load of underwear, various like styles of extra large black underwear, which um, 
Again, this is all left over from Riv. To be honest, I don't know if I'll be wearing these with, um, like, in the hospital. I packed, like, loads of pants. I packed, like, six or seven pairs of pants. Um, but these were from, I think at the time they might have been Mother Care, which is now shut. I know, Blooming Marvelous. They were from Mother Care, but they were the brand Blooming Marvelous. They're, like, post-C-section, like, scar recovery pants. So they have, like, this like special section there that like a support section i really liked these post surgery with riv however this time i don't know if i'll wear i didn't have them in, in the hospital for sure i bought them afterwards so i've got some of those i've got some like way more stretchy ones um and then just some massive cotton big cotton granny pants <laughs> um a few different pairs random selection of pants i think most of the time i was in hospital actually with river i wore the like disposable ones that they give you which are amazing um but like i said they give them to you so i don't see the point in really buying a pack of those and yeah anyway um so i've got lots of pants and then i've got two nursing bras which are these are new ones i still have all my nursing bras from with riv i saved them all um and thoroughly intend on using those too these ones i got sent from spanx i have to say the spanx maternity stuff is excellent it's really expensive but things like the leggings so worth the money because i've worn them like non-stop this pregnancy not so much in the later like the last couple of probably last month because it's been quite warm and i haven't really wanted to wear leggings i wanted to be in dresses but before that from like three months i wore them they were so good super supportive and just very stretchy the leather ones i didn't rate actually but the regular ones so good and the spanx tights so good these are the um nursing bras with the kind of they've got like a kind of racer back design like that the one criticism i would say is they don't have um a closure but they are very very stretchy i just feel like that might be quite trying to get them on they're like a sports bra with no closure do you know what i mean and when you're feeding and your boobs are like <laughs> yeah i think that it would have been good to add a, a, pr a proper closure to them apart from that they're so soft they've got the clips etc everything you need but um just like very supportive and they seem very well designed in terms of like the support areas and things and then the actual cut the cups themselves are crazy soft so i've got a black one and a nude one lastly <laughs> so out of breath lastly i have my two wash bags these are elizabeth scarlet wash bags they're so cute i love them these pouches are so handy um and she's done so well with all of her designs she just keeps bringing out even more gorgeous designs these are like the sun and moon i think they were maybe called the festival ones but she does lots of different sizes um and lots of different designs and they seem really basic but actually so so useful just like to i take them everywhere with me um, and really useful actually with new babies too because I feel like it's the kind of thing like pouches when I had my um, baby bag with Riv I would just have constantly have like a different like a little pouch with my like cards and money in it and a little, little pouch with like a few bits of like makeup and coin you know like just your things and then a pouch with the nappies and like all of that anyway I've got like a little wash bag this basically just has miniatures of the bare essentials um not that i think we'll need everything but we've got it if we end up having to stay longer than we anticipated um we've got mini shampoo and conditioner like i said i'm having a blow dry with my friend gareth the day before <laughs> hopefully if everything goes to plan so i will not need to wash my hair whilst we're there which is great i did have a shower with riv and i will have a shower this time i would have thought i'm staying for two nights so yeah I'm hoping I'll be in the shower. And they had really nice like body wash and things like that. So I'm not taking any body wash, but I am taking shampoo and conditioner just in case. A little mouthwash because yeah, why not? Um, mini deodorant, obviously. Mini face wipes. This is just like a pack of seven face wipes. Um, and then what else? A mini hairbrush. This is like my 10 year old Denman mini hairbrush with a mirror in it very very handy and then I have mini toothpaste two bamboo toothbrushes which are like like we just had for from traveling anyway and then I'm also taking a little bit of skincare I've actually got the bio effect hydrating cream and the bio effect serum just a bit of hydration nothing too complicated these are just tiny tight I love how small this one is like tiny tiny travel sizes i've also got a um some cotton pads and cotton buds and then i have a very very small amount of makeup i did wear makeup 
um, when we had Riv a little bit just so that I didn't look too like terrible in the photos because you do take a lot of photos um, but nothing major I've got basically just like a miniaturized makeup bag in here I've got a little cream blush from Rare Beauty I've got um, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Lip Oil which is a tinted lip balm really nice tinted lip oil balm and then uh, the Benefit Boing Concealer I've also got a mini, like a travel version of the It Cosmetics Brow Pencil. I'm gonna put these on my lap so that I can hold the rest. I've got a little makeup brush, like a little eyeshadow brush. A Bobbi Brown mascara, my favorite mascara. Um, it Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, this is the one that's like SPF 50, really easy to apply, but actually has really decent coverage. So it's good for this kind of thing, but also it's just a tiny, um, little travel size so it's handy for being able to fit in a tiny little makeup bag and then this seems totally extra but actually I think this is going to be a great addition is a mini version of the by Terry brightening CC serum in sunny flash which this product just makes you look like you've been on holiday when you haven't which I think will be a very welcome look when you've just had a baby and major surgery maybe we'll see that's my little makeup bag we'll see if I use any of it but I did with Riv, like I said, so, um, and it's only this size. So yeah, that is it for what's in my hospital bag. With this backpack, uh, I love this backpack so much. I actually have a, an organizer in here because I'm a major geek. Um, like I said, this will be packed like last minute um, and most certainly carried by Mike, not me, on his back. <laughs> um, I think, well not certainly, I'm just very, very incapable of carrying much these days other than my giant belly. Um, at the moment it's just got headphones, a charger, and then I've got my meds in my um, little like organizer thing ready. I've got a couple of these because I still have to take a fair amount of like different medication for my thyroid, etc. But also um, like vitamins and stuff like that. Like I just basically, I just always have, if I'm going anywhere, I have this like packed and ready. Um, and then yeah, it will have all of the obvious kind of like last minute throw-ins like my phone and wallet and keys and whatnot. Um, that is it for what is in my hospital bag for baby number two, summer baby. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Any other suggestions from you guys? If anything's changed in the last five years that you think I should be taking, let me know. Um, and otherwise, I will see you very soon. I'm hoping to film a few more baby videos before baby arrives like I said two weeks and counting I'm literally counting down the days um which is quite a surreal thing to be able to do because obviously normally when you have a baby you don't know exactly when it's going to come so you're kind of like in limbo for the last kind of month because it could come at any point well, it could come early um I feel like he's very comfy in there though I genuinely don't think he's going to come early he's like having a great time yeah beating me up every night. I swear to God, he's so much more active than Riv was. Um, but yeah, so there's more baby videos coming up. There will be a nursery tour. I'm gonna be filming that tomorrow, I think. There's one last key bit of decor in here that is hopefully going up tomorrow. So I'll film that very soon. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye.